Hi lads, in this video I'm going to go through the 2017 transformation geometry question from ordinary level. The question tells us the graphics show the design of a logo for a flower shop. A, draw the given logo and then locate the points A, A1, A2, A3 and 0 as shown. Find the image of the given logo under fine transformations from point A to A1 by an axial symmetry in the line A2 to A3. From point A1 to A2 by a translation and then finally from point A2 to A3 by a central symmetry in point O. So to start the question, I'm going to draw what's given already. So I'm going to draw a central line across the page there. And the distance from A to O back to A1 is going to be 80 and 80. So I'm going to have these three points here. So I'm going to have A here. A1 here and O1 there. And then the distance above and below O for A3 and A2 is going to be 55 mil each side. So 55 there and 55 there. And now we can connect all those together. So we have A2 here. And that is A3 there. So the actual logo itself is going to be a radius 30 circle drawn here. Let's go semicircle there. And then we have two lines going straight up. And they're going to be 30 mil high. And take that across there, and then we can draw them in. So there, there, and then we get our compass, and we use that radius 30 to draw our full semicircle there. And on this side, it's only going to be a quarter circle. That's our logo we're going to have. So A to A1 is going to be axial symmetry. And we have our axis already drawn here. Line A to A3 is our axis. So we're basically going to flip the image over like this. So you can imagine if I had my set square like this here. There's my central axis. There's my shape that I wanted. And I flip it over. It's going to go over like that. It'll be a mirror image of it. So first thing I'm going to do is take across my center. And I'll just label that as C for center. So it's on that line already. So what I need to do is. Take the distance from my central axis out to C, mark it on the opposite side there, and then draw my semicircle from my base. Like that there. My two lines come straight up and find their height. Take these straight across. And they're always going perpendicular to my axis at all times. And that gives me height here here. This point will come across and the turn if it hits here or here for axial symmetry. Take that distance, mark it across and you see it's going to be the first one there. So now we know that when we take our semicircle here, we'll be drawing the full semicircle there and then finally we're going to be drawing only the quarter there like that. Oh sorry, so let's do the top half, not the bottom half. So the quarter for the top half. So like that there. It's important to always have this line drawn in, otherwise you lose marks if you just draw both down on both sides like that there. <clears throat> for the next one then, it tells us from point A1 to A2 by uh, translation. So basically we're going down this way in translation. So with translation, all points go the same distance, all points go the same direction. So if I take my center C there, I take my distance A2 to A1, swing it from C, there's my center there. 
and now I can take that razor to the same there swing that semicircle there take my line across and then I have this line here and this line here and they're going to line up but just to prove using translation you can see they're going to meet there and there you can see when I take my straight line up meets up there and there and because it's translation we're going to have the exact same thing on both sides so this one here is going to stay over here that and this one take my distance there once again yeah about there and that's translation I put C there again for my center what I'll do is I'll label that just the key point there I'll call it one took one across there and one down there and the last thing central symmetry through point O so basically A2 went through O to give me A3 with that distance equal to that. So when I take C through O, I'm going to take my distance from C to O, step it across there, and they connect together there. <coughs> and then to figure out, I know the circle is going to be going this way, but to figure it out and show where that point is going to go, I'm going to take one through as well, just in case anybody was confused about it. Take that distance there, mark it across. There's one. So you can see then, I take this distance on my compass, take my level line across there, show where it stops. You can see there. There's where one is. So I'm going to have is I'm going to have my semicircle going the whole way through there. That line goes out to there. That line will be going straight down because it'll pass through this one here. <coughs> There's that point. And then I can take that out there and that will complete the question then. So from A to A1 it was axial. This one here was translation and then this one up here is centre. And I just show and colour some of my distances. So the distance from one to my axis was there, and then my axis back to the other one is there. I can show as well then for translation that A1 to A2 was that distance there going at that angle. For C, it was the exact same thing. It's going same angle, same length, and then just use yellow for the central symmetry. Everything goes through the central point. That distance there is the same as that, and then, for example, that distance there in orange, same as that distance there in orange. That completes the question. So that was the 2017 question 5. If anybody has any questions on it, message me on Teams.